10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Atmosphere is a collection of gases that makes the Earth habitable. It consists of 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 1% water vapor with trace gases, argon, and carbon monoxide. A thick layer of atmosphere protects the Earth and its inhabitants from the damaging rays of the Sun. But as the years go by, as the planet embraces modernization and technology, so came the effects of atmospheric changes, aka climate change. Metro Manila consists of 17 cities, home for approximately 11 million people, the Philippine Center of Technology and Modern Living. Surely enough, these improvements gave the Filipino people living in Metro Manila an edge when it comes to education and lifestyle. But the effect of this great advancement was not salutary at all for Metro Manila atmosphere. For longer period of time, dry season reached up extremely for 36 degrees Celsius. Wet season causing floods and landslide. Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration is a government agency for weather forecasting, flood control, astronomical observation, and time services. On June 20, 2012, Pag-asa launched its Rainfall Warning System or RWS in Metro Manila. The colors are yellow, green was later changed into orange and red. Yellow stands for awareness. 
Green or orange for stands for preparedness and red for emergency. Being the tropics, the normal temperature that the Philippines, particularly Metro Manila, should have is 20 degrees Celsius or 38 degrees Celsius. There are two distinct and consistent seasons. The dry, which is for, from late December to May, and the wet season, that is from June to December. According to the Holdridge Life Zone System, the annual average temperature is 27.7 degrees Celsius. The annual precipitation is 2.61 millimeters, and the annual sunshine average is 2,105 hours. And these data were taken during the 20th century, but everything changed during the 21st century. In 2009, Ondoy alone, a tropical storm, averaged a total rainfall of 341 millimeters in just six hours. On 2012, Habagat. Not even a tropical cyclone averaged a total of 787.8 millimeters. And on 2013, Habagat again averaged a total of 1067.4 millimeters. The Habagat alone validated what scientists and environmentalists were warning the public. That climate change can bring the average to the extreme. Habagat can be more devastating and destructive than a real tropical cyclone. Good day, I am Nelson Kebya and today we are going to find out the insights of the residents about the wet and dry seasons in Metro Manila. Okay, sa positive para sa dry season ay hindi ka pumunta sa beach tapos maraming chika beach. Kapag sobrang init, nakakaantok pa rin. <laughs> Kasi, <laughs> ayun, tapos pagka naglalakad ka, nakakagal ka ka, agad, ganun. Nakakagutom din at nakakagutom. Manila is the political, economical, social, cultural, and educational center of the Philippines with the largest business district and modernization because of the increasing population. The economy is affected as well that takes about the changes in flood runoff and the risk for damage that people affected. We should be aware that climate change increased the probability of having natural disaster such as Undoy, and a baguette that caused death of many. To conclude our whole presentation, we should learn to be responsible, alert, and well prepared all the time. As these calamities and typhoon pass, are we ready for the next catastrophe?